Welcome back to ET Race. This is week 141, day four. Our defense continues to hold. Um, we got re challenge, uh, well, not re challenge, rematch by uh, Nemesis. I don't remember what day of the week we fought them, but they brought a Fallen Edgar with uh, reposition and armor boots. A um, Springmer reposition and IO shield. Peony with guidance one, no A slot, no uh, special. Chrome, Ignis, Heavy Blade. And New Year's Altina, I mean, uh, Winter Altina with reposition and attack defense form. All right, so just go in with both Mer and Edelgar. Yeah, Guntra does a lot of damage on this poor Mer. She of course gets to heal a little bit. But yeah, Guntra just takes her out. Alright, the little chip damage on Edelgar, Ingo Sleeve, unfortunate for him, actually unfortunate for her, he survives, and then just one shot Spioni. Yeah. From here on, just finish off leave. Heal, recharge, po charge bonfire, and take out Camilla. Face your mortality. Beat out Guntra with uh, Winter Altina. But she's like, nah, bro, I'm just gonna go after getting this Edgar and exact here. damage kill her. Get dance and then go after Altina. Unfortunately, Guntra does not survive this. Right, and from here, they try to bait out uh, Peony, but they forgot the Brahmon can move. And they still couldn't activate the dual skill because Peony was still in the field. And then, yeah, this is just dirty the way the AI moved. Not moved just so Brahmon could reach Krom. So I really don't like those kind of things when they happen to me. So I'm um, sorry that happened to you. I'm sorry. It's one of those things you really can't predict. All right, so let's get on our battle for today. Another leaf. We've been fighting another leaf this week. Oh, they got their own Guntra. Um, so there's that leaf with Savage Blow, Rally Attack, and Glimmer. Azura, plus three, plus five, with Ground Orders and Rest Tactics. Luna, attack with spawn 4. Not. Noontime. So you can go 1, 2, 3. I guess you can only attack the same spots as if you were in the front line. And Guntra the same thing as if she was in that spot. Chrome. Bramimon. And... Triandra. So I can shut down one, but I cannot shut down both. Seventh unit is not. So Azura can move in front of her to dance her. Doesn't really do much. 
I would have made leave the seven unit, but I guess they, if they're running triple mythics, that would have hurt the score. Since they don't have merges on them, well, they have like one and one, so not high merges on them. But that would allow not to move the three spaces, so one, two, three, one, two, three, here. So yeah, she can reach where Leaf can reach. And Guntra can reach there too. I think Fjorm again is... Because Fjorm can deal with Guntra thanks to neg uh, negating uh, penalties. So Guntra will only do whatever boosted damage he gets. So 48 plus 7 plus 5. I guess she will get... No, she doesn't get the joint on attack. Well, she does to herself. But she'll be in panic manner at that point. And she doesn't get refresh. If I go here would be the smartest point to go. I will also be Chroma, unfortunately. So he can go 1, 2, and attack right here. And Chrome is not someone I want to take right now. He will also have that. And he'll have his lull, which is... And Chrome hits way harder than Contra. So, I guess just let the dance happen. You do get, um, yeah, I'm just gonna let the dance happen. You're gonna get pan your panic, so all you're gonna do is lose debuffs, and I'm gonna shut down Tiandra. I have places, places, I have places to hide. So yeah, just, if I go like this, I can move you down here. I guess I can move not over here. Somebody has to go where Peony is. So. Alright, the two of you can stay right here. Can even test this trap for free to try to take out this panic manner. One, two, three. It's far enough that Fjorm will not get hit by it, so that's good. Put Lucina over here. Mm, Dagger can go in that hole over there. And is it safe to put Peony right here? Guntra will probably go after Peony. One, two, three. And get repositioned by Chrome. Putting Chrome. One, two, three. Putting Chrome right here. So Chrome can go one, two, and two. So these spots are actually kind of dangerous. But we are going to bait out Guntra, so never mind. So next would be Brahmimon, who will not be able to reach. It's all range, so the only one that can move is not. So I think we're safe. That's I am going nice. to test this out, just in case. That lets me move Yorm one step up, which, but I'm sure like the one on that side is the real one. Oh, okay, sure. I can move your map and it's actually a better thing for me. Because I can leave What's Lucina next? in that hole instead. If you say so. Right, boss. Alright, so. Got him. Get not. Dancer. Right, boss. You will probably move straight down. So we'll leave Mila right there. If you say so. Put Nod over here. Fjorm right there. And let him come. Dance. I want the dance to happen. Are you ready? 
unfortunately Guntra went in rally, so perfect. Good job, Crom. You won't get past me. You did exactly what we needed you to do. All right, we should be able to one shot Brahmin. Yes. Got him. Uh, let's see. Can I one shot Brahmin? Right, boss. With dagger, I can move over here. I want to say I can, but I also want to be careful that I, d I am able to. You will be tricky if you rally the wrong place. Death's caress. Ah, I really wish I could t see how much damage he does. I guess I could just use Nod then, reposition her with air, air and go after him. I mean, I don't. It doesn't have to be Air who takes him. If you rally from here, you won't reach Brahmin. If you rally from where you are, you won't reach. Yeah, one, two, three, here. Rally from here, one, two, attack Fjorn. All right. So yeah. Let's take you out. Since you can reach Fjorm, that works in our favor, because Azura cannot reach Fjorm. Actually, no, you cannot reach Fjorm either, depending on where you rally from. Can I make you reach Fjorm? Fjorm was over here, then yeah. But I cannot get Fjorm there in any way, kind of shape or form. The rally into the dance is gonna happen. It just depends which way Guntra moves, but I guess both Dagger can handle her and Fjorm can handle her. I bestow my blessing. So we'll just Yes. Get ready. Yeah, I don't I do not want to put her in range. The uh, if she rallies from here she'll attack, which is the only good thing. One, two, and reach me. But if she rallies from where she is, she will not be able to reach anybody. So rally from here, one, two, three, hit this spot. So Maybe we'll just stay where we are. All right, that works because as you say. 37 Borders, please. Wait, why can I double you again? Minus 2 speed from what? Am I getting minus 2 speed? Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm losing to speed from. All right, that's um, interesting. I'm not sure where I'm losing that speed from. As you say. I'm losing six speed from something. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Um, if false HP is above 75, inflict minus 4 speed, okay. I could put Lucina here, Dancer, 
move her here and then she'll have enough speed. Borders, please. 29 and 29 is more than enough to double you. What's so next? you can do that. Ready. Understood. Yes. Ha! Right, boss. Dagger. Yes. It will be done. Should go after Lucina or Dagger. That's it. I've got everything I need. If you say so. Like this. Uh yep, got As everything so. You won't get past me. Alright, that was it. Another successful day. Another Fjorm win. Alright, let's see how you guys are doing so far. Promise now has taken the lead, followed by Ren, Logan, Amethyst, Kako, ECLA, Dogs, Yakiomi, Bray Blitz. Oron, oh, look, Bridal Ninian. I have a pretty high merge Bridal Ninian. Well, not high merge, but mm, I think like a plus three or something like that. So that's a very nice Bridal Ninian. Michael, Dark Luster, Matt, New Swordsman. Diego, Goldstein, Lemres, Alphonse, Alan, Bean. Silver. So I think the only thing still to summon is the... Oh no, we got this banner to summon. Um, but yeah, uh, I got five days to summon on this and I will be summoning because I want to finally plus in my Fjorm. But not today since the work day and tomorrow is also work day, so... Um, I guess blue is the best option, the highest chance. I mean, I like Fallen Julia too, but we don't have the ores to be able to spare. Oh, you're back, Apocatariana. You keep following me everywhere. Plus speed. Okay, that's really good for a Pocketeriana. Yeah, look at Anna. Look at all the Annas that we actually have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have enough to have a plus five Anna. Plus, yeah, four of them are already level 40. No, five of them, one, two, three, four, five. And then this one that we just got. I mean, she does have the rally attack speed and a root skill and a joint drive speed. So she is pretty good, like for fodder and stuff. Should you on, yeah, like you won't be able to pass the root skill and well, you can pass the root skill and the rally attacks plus speed plus only if you have like the rally attack speed, which we don't have on any easily accessible unit other than like um, the very first the free bridal um, 
Cordelia we got from well free if you got if you got her from the uh, uh, from the manuals but yeah rally attack speed is not really easy to combine let's see aside from Anna who else so yeah like oh Eric I guess you can get it if you still have your the one you got from Heroes Path and Soren Soren also had a rally attack speed plus but yeah Cordelia I re I merged mine so Corin so nothing that is easily accessible but there are a few units that have rally attack speed plus I mean the one that Sotis got she got it from Layla when I passed her, when I gave her uh, Life and Death 4. And that's the only one I have inherited off. Yeah, I guess Soren would be the best units to give it. So you can pass Rue skill and the um, Joint Drive Attack from Ana. Those were like, those will be the best thing to give if you were to fodder her off. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for today. So um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.